How's it going? My name is Jeremiah Nickel, a.k.a. JT Nickel on Reddit. Uh, my weekend has already been made, and it's not even like 6.30 or 7 in the morning when I got this uh, reply. So I I uh, reached out to Vitalik Buterin, uh, who I've not really had a lot of interaction with uh, over the last five years, and uh, I gave him I gave him some of my thought maybe he would find some interest in to uh, help a dad out. So my son's a freshman in uh, high school, and he gave me this problem here. And so I'll, I'll take you through it real quick. So you have these these figure one, figure two, figure three, and then you have this grid. So I know all of you mathletes out there would be able to digest this rather easy enough. So you're basically looking at each square as having toothpicks around the perimeter. And so you got to find the area. So for instance, figure one, the perimeter is four toothpicks and the area is one square. And the number of squares within that square is still just one. And the number of toothpicks used is four. So you can see this chart here as you get, as you double in size exponentially or whatever the fancy mathematical word is. Now this has a perimeter of eight toothpicks, okay? And so on and so forth. Well, <clears throat> In full disclosure, I failed freshman algebra, okay? I took remedial math my sophomore year. I took some other math course my junior year, and I graduated with sophomore geometry. I mean, me and toothpick counting, like I have talents in other areas besides math. I'll just leave it at that. And so I had a feeling a good old toothpick equation uh, was right up Vitalik's uh, alley, and and uh, it ended up being a letter that kind of read like this. My son is a freshman in high school. He has a side quest for you. He'd really be touched if you could journey in this quest. Now, something you should know about my son. I made a video on YouTube uh, when he was much younger, four years younger, five years younger, setting up a Ledger Nano S. Okay? It's on YouTube. So, He's a pretty smart kid, but it also shows that a Ledger Nano S, which is used for digital currency, is e as easy as it is for a 10-year-old to set up as it could be for anybody else. Now, for my son Jonah and his friends and his math teacher that may be watching this video, you're like, who is Vitalik Buterin and why is he important? So Vitalik Buterin, uh, for a little bit of background, uh, he can speak five langu languages fluently. He was writing for Bitcoin Magazine and featured in a movie in 2017. Uh, according to his father, uh, Dimitri uh, had a lot of fun as a kid around the age of 10 doing Excel spreadsheets. Okay, uh, really incredible intellectual figure uh, out there in the in the digital currency world along with some other people, wrote the white paper for a project called Ethereum in 2014. Ethereum, unlike Bitcoin, it's, it still has a token called ETH, which is kind of like saying Bitcoin has a token called Bitcoin. And you can do money in and you can do money out of a transaction, and that's, uh, that's what Bitcoin does. Ethereum adds a software layer to it. It's basically a decentralized world computer uh, without fear of censorship or you know un it's basically unhackable so the the only way i could describe it is it's a network of computers talking to each other and understanding what all the other computers are working on at at the same time and it's it's really innovative and it's really early technology what's significant is vitalik wrote the white paper when he was 19 years old and uh, it's just an incredible amount of talent in, in that young man. And he has assembled a great foundation of uh, leaders who are uh, helping to build this thing. And it's, it's, it's being adopted worldwide by tons of Fortune 500 companies, Fortune 100 companies. Or there, it seems like everybody's putting a little team together now to investigate how this could be useful. And it's going to be useful. Long story short. I'm wasting Vitalik's time having him do my son's math homework. So, 
I said, if you could complete and scribble a signature on it, this would be some fantastic extra credit. I said, I love this challenge. Count the squares, all of them. So you, you not only have to count the squares within the square, you also have to count the big square here. And then you have this square, right? And this square. So it's uh, it's got quite a bit going on. And then uh, he replied back this morning. He goes, there's a clever way, this is at 5.34 a.m., there's a clever way to solve this in a few seconds. All of the functions are degree two functions, except square counting, which is a degree three, as a square has three parameters, top, left, and side length. So, the number of squares that fit inside a box must be some cubic function, and so they must satisfy the property that the differences are quadratic. What does quadratic mean? I'm telling you, this, I remember something about quadratic once upon a time. And therefore, the differences in the differences are linear. So we can write out the differences, adding the zero column, which is 0, 0, 0, 0 for completeness. And then he extends the quadratic functions. And I mean, it just, what a reply, man. I mean, this is so cool. So... Uh, I know I'm geeking out on this thing, but it is really special. And then uh, this reply, uh, this is where I started to chuckle a bit. So wait, till you, wait until you find out how this sequence relates to degree 71 polynomials. The look and say sequence in mathematics, the look and say sequence is the sequence of integers beginning as follows. And then he had some more text in the reply. Um, down here, and I, I was lost about a paragraph ago. To, di to generate a member of the sequence from the previous member, read off the digits of the previous. And I'm like, dude, I'm calling my mom. It's not even 7 a.m., and I did. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, Vitalik Buterin, for taking the time. Totally made my weekend, and uh, I'm going to make sure that my son and, and all his friends and his teacher – uh, get a chance to uh, see this, including your link here to your uh, your um, degree 71 polynomials. It's, I got uh, classes started. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a student again. Thanks so much, man. Cheers and big hugs from Kansas City.